watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. Good afternoon from CQ Stadium in College Park. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne. That's Mason. Maryland gets close, and then it gets away. They fall to Iowa, 29 to 13. They had a shot at it, but it didn't work out as most of the season has not. Mason, what'd you see out there? Yeah, I mean, they just play a team that plays smart, tough football. They run the ball extremely well. The defense is very, very clean, and they just came out with late Iowa football, and we just couldn't beat it. You have to stop the run basically for the entire game. I thought the Terps did an okay job at stopping Caleb Johnson. He's a hell of a player in this league. Definitely the best running back in the league this season. And once Billy went down, MJ Morris did throw some really good passes. He has a good deep ball, but today with the wind, you couldn't really use that too much. And it's really, you're beating all, all three sets of the game. They, they were. Uh, clearly, MJ He's fine. I actually still think Billy's better. He throws it. MJ throws a very flat ball. He did give some spark to this offense, but the two interceptions might not have really been a fault. The one pass down the right sideline. Uh, the wind was really tough. Ball hung on that one and got intercepted. It was a great interception. And then on the sack, as he was getting sacked, he's still trying to throw the ball, and it got picked off by a linebacker, and that sort of ended the threat. This is a line that played better against Rutgers last week. It's Terrence Davis, left tackle, Walker, left guard, Hershey at center, Colton Rivers, the right guard, and then Alan Herons, the right tackle. So far, we do it okay. I have to give the Terps credit. It, Iowa was beating the heck out of Maryland, and Maryland still came back. Mm -hmm. And they get it to 19 to 13, and you think there's hope. And then number 28, Kamari Moulton, took off with 68 yards, and I guess that was that. <laughs> Defensively, they improved. They put in LeVon Johnson at defensive tackle. The wind's picking up again, and, the, and there goes the camera. Uh, I think the wind has been a factor when we played Iowa several times. Yeah, this game wasn't far off of, other than the fact we're able to get some points, a game that we did go out to uh, in Iowa City. But it's really a, a shocking moment here. Like, this team is 4-7 and seven right now, and it, just, it doesn't almost feel right with the talent that's that's on this roster um, but it's just always been one play away today it was like Felton over the middle he drops the ball KP has a shot at one down the sideline he ball hits him in the face mask and it seems like every time you've gotten close in these games that are really only decided by still a handful of plays we just can't make the winning play I've been one guy short really I've just never been on the same page and you can chalk it up to plenty of things Nobody really knows what goes on in the building, but in reality, you got to find a better offensive line and you got to find a pass rush. If you don't find those two things, it's going to be really, really hard to win games in this league. So Terp fans, if your family's injured in a car crash, you'd be barking mad not to call Rick and the Big Dogs at the Jacklich Law Group at 855-BIG-DOG-1. But as you know, Coach, it's not the last win, it's the next win that's so important. 
And that's why we continue to hustle, continue to work so hard for all of our clients to earn that name, the big dogs from the small firm. Just like you do. You get your guys hustling all the time. That's why we love you, Rick. And most of all, go, go Terps. Terps. Offensive line improved as they did against Rutgers when they put a change up, put Hershey at center, Colton Berger went to guard, Walker came in at left guard, Doomerville was a left tackle, Alan Heron at right tackle, and you started to see some movement. You started to see a running game. They go back to what is effectively the starters, and instantly the offense died again. I'm not sure why those five just don't get the start and get the whole game. Starting by the defensive line, sort of similar. You bring in LeVon Johnson, you put in Harrison Wingate at linebacker, the speed helps. You see the defense get more effective. They go back to the starters and things come apart again. So there has been some spark here. I actually appreciate that they've tried different combinations. The ones that worked, I would have stuck with. I'm not coaching this team. And that brings us to the end of our home schedule. It just has not been the season that we look for. Um, there's a, you know, we're going to throw it to Bruce here to take a look in from the studio. Bruce, what do you make of the season and, and what the future is here in College Park? All right, Wayne, so a tough loss for the Terps today. Uh, wow. Four and seven on the year. Can't make a bowl. One and seven in the conference. Uh, really got beat by a great rushing game by Iowa. And not much to say. Caleb Johnson was special. Look, Malik Malik uh, Washington's coming next year. New quarterback. Uh, Billy will be healthy, hopefully, next year if he comes back. And uh, you got to look on the bright side. i tell you one thing, though. Ryan Day poured it on Indiana at the last, scored a touchdown on the last play of the game for no reason to up his score to 38 to 15. It was just, I, you take it for what it's worth. Just made me mad about Ohio State. I wish them no luck in the playoffs. Wayne, tomorrow, big game versus uh, Villanova at uh, Prudential Center. Let's hope we the basketball team can turn it on tomorrow. Back to you, buddy. Viner X is the new face of Viner Four Gates. Tech support fuels your business growth. Making your company work is our number one priority. Viner X is here to make your company work. Call us at 877-797-8776 or send us an email, servicedesk at VinerX.com. Uh, I think that looking at that recruiting class as we go forward, we hope that class stays together, Mason. You certainly do. And, and you know, freshmen really aren't going to have that impact when they come in. I mean, maybe, maybe Malik Washington's got it. I have a lot of hopes yeah. for it, but you're still relying on a guy coming in with these fifth and sixth year guys still coming through. Uh, college football is it seems like more and more guys find more and more eligibility as every day goes on so you, you really have to see what what happens here what shakes out but it almost will be a it, it's going to be a different look there's going to be different coaches there and, and there's going to be a lot of different players i would not be surprised if you see a lot of attrition uh from the current roster in the next year and from the coaching staff this yeah. just didn't go well from a coaching perspective either thank you to rick jacklich who was once again, the primary sponsor, he's the big dog. This is the big dog post game show. And to Viner Four Gates as the company moves on to becoming Viner X. You saw that ad a little bit ago. So thanks to our sponsors. Thank you for watching. There will be a post game show after Penn State. We are not traveling to Happy Valley next week. So this sort of wraps up your live on field for Turf Talk for this season. Of course, we'll see you for basketball. And lacrosse is about 100 days away, so there's some excitement for that. I'm Wayne. That's Mason. Good afternoon from College Park, Iowa 29, the Terrapins 13.